So I think like one thing we got to do is, you know, we're going to talk a lot today about Long Island um, and New York City in the 80s. And, you know, uh, as bad as things were in the 70s, they got better in, in the 80s. It's still real shitty in New York. Um, you know, you had in, in the early mid 80s, you know, uh, Reaganomics in full effect, you know, and what we're talking here is you know, reducing taxes, reducing government, um, this notion of trickle down economics. So, um, you know, the market will sort of the invisible hand idea of like the market will correct its, itself and government shouldn't be involved in the market. And, you know, that, um, you know, when, when companies and businesses do good, you know, the, the, their winnings will trickle down to you just like, you know, how it works at Amazon, um, you know, uh, et cetera. Uh, you know, some other signature elements was the war on drugs, um, which we're still feeling uh, the implications of, of that, where basically we'll watch a film in a few weeks called Planet Rock, um, which is about um, hip hop and, uh, you know, powder, cocaine and crack. Um, specifically a lot during this era and we'll learn a little bit more but you know the war on drugs made it so you know the penalty for um, rock cocaine was a hundred to one to powder cocaine um, meaning you know um, having you know a gram of of rock cocaine was the equivalent punishment wise to having a hundred grams of powder. The main difference between the two types of drugs was, you know, at least framed by the media as we'll see, was that, you know, powder cocaine uh, was used by white people and rock cocaine, uh, crack, was used by black people. Now that's actually not true, it's just how it was framed um, in, in, in the media. and and, and so this led to largely the prison industrial complex that we know now, the new Dro Jim Crow system, um, all that. And we'll learn a little bit more about this. And this is really when broken windows policing is taking off. So again, stopping and frisking people, um, trying to curb small crime to prevent murders. You know, like let's stop graffiti, let's stop basic vandalism, let's stop people from smoking joints or selling Lucy cigarettes. Um, you know, now we'll stop m murder and other larger crimes. But you gotta understand shit was really bad, you know, as, as bad as, as it is now for still, uh, for black people in America, it was real fucking shitty um, in, in the 80s. So, um, you know, uh, almost a third of all blacks in America in the, in the early 80s uh, lived in, in poverty. Um, that's been halved to approximately 18, 19%, although I'd have to see rec more recent data. You know, that type of data is usually a year or two behind. Um, unemployment was 22%, it was very high, and there was a lot, um, you know, a lot of joblessness. You know, the 80s was like a time where a lot of the labor um, got shipped overseas. A lot of the manufacturing, more of it, right? We had all of this in the 60s and 70s, but a lot more manufacturing got shipped overseas. So there was a lot of, um, and that was part of Reaganomics too, like don't regulate what companies do. Let them take their work elsewhere, you know? Um, 